Darren, not only that, I've been able to leave my helmet at home because the last four days have been seen positive returns in the last hour of trading. And you have to go back to late October to find the last time you saw four days in a row of last hour uh, gains. So the two of you are back together and the market's rejoicing. You know? so, <laughs> there um, you go. That, that really must be it. No, no, but what, but what, what does it tell you? Paul, about the, the market's potential ability to reclaim the highs and to recover the lost ground that we saw in January on angst of Fed policy changes. So, I mean, anytime you see last hour strength in the market, uh, it's more of a willingness on the part of investors to hold overnight, and that's a positive signal uh, overall. But I think this market, we're going to, I mean, especially between now and March, I think we're going to see a lot of um, moves up and down. Uh, you know, when the market gets too high, people will worry about the headwinds of the Fed, uh, fiscal and monetary headwinds and valuations. But then when you get these pullbacks like we've seen in the last several weeks, uh, you know, not everything is bad. And you got to realize that the economy is still expanding. Uh, major averages has, have held up pretty well, considering the carnage you saw in the meme stocks and, you know, some of these uh, really high growth, zero earnings companies. Um, the earnings results have come in pretty positive. And the real key last week, though, was sentiment. Sentiment hit levels that we haven't seen uh, since the COVID crash, whether you look at polls, uh, you look at the put volumes, which were, were off the charts. And last week, everyone's talking about the Fed put and how the Fed put's gone. Well, I mean, here's an interesting headline that, you know, I read last week. It said, don't count on the Fed saving stocks again. Well, the, the funny thing about that headline was that it was from late November 2018 rather than now. So people have been talking about the Fed not being there for the markets um, for years now. And I, I think it's a, I think that whole Fed put um, is a little bit overstated. Uh, the Fed is certainly more hawkish now than it has been in prior years. But I, that's not the only thing that um, the market has to worry about. But I think between now and March, we'll see some oscillations until we find out what the Fed is going to do and get some more clarity until they move.